hello and welcome to a new game that I'm playing today called Banisher's Ghosts of New Eden. Um, just looking forward to this game. It's, uh, I've seen a couple of videos and it looks pretty cool, so I thought I'd buy it and uh, check it out myself. Now this is the intro screen and this is pretty cool already. So uh, let's just get started. Oh, okay. Let's accept all this. Uh, or whatever. Our brightness. Yeah, a little bit brighter. Next soundbar, night mode. What's night mode? Low volume. Oh, nice. Soundbar. TV. Yeah, next. Yeah, so subtitles. Da, 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 da. Next. Ah, that's pretty cool. Nice. Not sure why there's a mouse option, like cursor. Not sure. Uh, let's just pick normal. I play games on normal. It's a nice uh, painting. Ooh. Oh, here we go then. Straight to it. Now, I don't normally talk during cutscenes, um, so I will catch you on the other side. Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Dreamed of clouds, great long fluffy bastards, low over the sea. I dreamed of the abyss, in the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. Good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Something's bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. And we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Come on, Antea, we need to go. Night be. <laughs> <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many entangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all to haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. 
Mm. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. Mm. Interesting. Okay. So Charles is dead, who we are uh, apparently going to see. Ooh, 1695. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. I'd wanted to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. You'd better be at the tavern. With a hot grog. Or two. Okay, we're playing as Antea Duarte. Move the camera. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I'm yeah. weary of long, boring sea voyages to grim faraway lands. I can't remember the last okay, time we did nice. something else than work. Okay, got After this, button. we should set sail oh. somewhere warm and safe. Okay. The dead don't wow. linger. No such place. Okay, we've got block. I'm not sure I might be told these controls, but uh, there's a little dash and sprint. Uh, I mean, first of all, it looks awesome. Like, the visuals are pretty damn good. Have I mentioned how grim this as, place as is? most games are these I days. I heard you the first time, but I don't disagree. Yeah, so we've got. I like. The UI where it's limited. I've always liked limited UI. Uh, basically, stuff that just pops up when you need it. So, like when you attack, you've got your other UI that pops up. Or when you put it away, it goes away as well. I like that. So, I need to press forward and cross to uh, go under and through things and also grab ledges. Nice. Nice. Got a little marker up there. Tell us where to go. Got lots of rats. Okay, where are we going, Red? I think we can get through here. Sure. Ooh. Let's go traipsing yeah. through the rotten, falling down house. Oof, fungus. Plus three. Sure, we'll find out what that is. I get the feeling something's going to happen Looks here. steady enough. He's cursed it, yeah. Definitely going <laughs> to something's going to happen here. Oh, hold on. I want to skip. I don't want to do that. Oh. Watch out! Okay. Nice. Ugh. Okay then. Is it just me or are we not welcome here? Oh, Keep going. Okay. I'll find a way to meet up with you. There we go. Eager <laughs> with all the um, stuff on Twitter at the moment, with all that there. Why is this thing painted yellow? Why is this thing got this thing to tell me where to go? Pretty much just like that, like it's telling you. I like how these guys have done it with like um, environment stuff that's on the wall that should could possibly be there. Uh, there's some sort of fungus on there that is saying, "Hey, go this way." I like that. Um, some people are like, hey, "I'm not stupid." Blah blah blah. But to be honest, I'd rather have the direction there than it not be there. Okay, so I assume we just yeah forward and cross. There we go. So like, this isn't specifically like yellow, but it is like a environment pointer to say, hey, climb, you can climb this. I like that. Oh, okay, can I target? I can. R1 and R2. Petty fiend. Oh, okay, so let's try R2. Oh, okay, R2 is a char. Oh, oh, did you see that cursor? Oh, that's nice. Everything all right down there? Just a sneaky wanderer. You? That feels Same. all right. But I managed. Are these spectral watching the road? Spectral dust. Maybe, but 
But are they keeping people outside town? Or are they keeping them in? Hmm. Are they keeping us out or keeping people in? Nice. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. But I don't know why that directional thing is there because you sort of have to go that way. But I suppose it's like if you're in an open world and you're. Uh, I don't know if this is open world, by the way. I'll just figure it out. What have we got here? Take. Lever plus seven. Nice. Town over there, okay. Get down there. Nope, can't smash that, okay. Just climb up. Oh, more wanderers. Nice. Behind you. Oh. What did he just do? That looked pretty cool. Yeah, as easy as falling off a box. I don't know what that means. Let's carry on. I can't tell how long these people have been. The original settlers, perhaps. Whoever, this doesn't board well. Where's he going? He's going that way, okay. Alright. Drop down. Let's get up here. Oh, I get the feeling there's going to be some ghosties. You do not belong nice. here. Attacking, oh, banishment. Attacking with your weapons fills the banished gauge. When the banished gauge is full, press cross to banish your target. Time to leave for good. Oh, so that's what Red did down there. Okay. Between banishment and just killing them is it's more spectral dust, more leather. Oh, come on. Why can't I read? A note, damp and bloody. Perhaps these words will be lost in time, but I must write them. The date I cannot say. I know it is the month of June in the year 1695. I thought we would be safer in Providence. I thought we would finally see the children again, and the golden wheat fields would ring with their laughter. Their mother now lies dead, and I shall join her soon. Something insidious walks these roads. Terrible spirits took us. Now Eden, New Eden is cursed. You who reads this now, I tell you, run. These people left New Eden town just a few days ago. What exactly is going on here? Now, that is good um, game direction and writing, and... Uh, general feel of like okay so that character did actually read that note so you've got some because if you didn't read that yourself you're like okay what well, I didn't, don't care but it's like the character actually did read it and it's given you some extra filler if you didn't read it I like that okay hold R2 to charge attack and finish the planet gate Okay. Slow. Oh, nice. Okay. More spectral dust. I mean, that enemy wasn't very uh, difficult. Maybe it will be. Okay, so we break this. Pow! Go under. That all goes badly for the case. It is red. Nice. The situation is worse than you thought. Let's wait to hear what Charles has to say. Okay, there we go. Ah, does so he walk at my speed? If I run, he runs. Are the time select? Yes, finally. A Isn't that game what selectmen do? That does that. I don't know if anyone's played Ghost of Tsushima, but um, they had a very cool thing like if you're following an NPC or escorting one. They run or walk at the same speed as you, when we get to which town, a lot of go we games to do not do, to cover and it ground. baffles me. You may count on the most responsible student, a banisher could have. We'll see if you remember some of your teaching, if you're up for it. Always. 
I want to go right, actually. Let's go right. Oh, something shiny. Leather plus seven. Nice. People who fear pestilence or disease. Or both. Okay. Well, I'm very biblical. Can't go that way, right? Not the busiest stables I've ever seen. No ostler and no oh. horses. The crops and ran out of food. And Wild out of chervil plus five. Chervil, chervil. Don't know how to pronounce that. Right, so it wants me to go over the bridge. Can I get in here? Nope. Okay. Over the bridge, then red. New Eden Town. Eden Town discovered. Coming committee. Let's find the inn. Let's find Charles. Well, we already know Charles dead, so uh It'll be good to see Charles and Esther again. Mm. <laughs> Would you a lecture on the sanctity of marriage? You have reached the location of your current objective. <laughs> Esther wouldn't dare. No and we don't need a piece of paper to keep us together. <laughs> yeah. I remember you telling her. Definitely missed a guy at the window there. Right, so basically, you just got to walk around in this investigation state and find the inn. Ah, oh, nice little uh, direction in. So let's not explore just yet, actually. Was there something on there? Nothing shiny. Cool. Let's move on. Let's go to the inn. I'm liking the music and audio at the moment. It's uh, Doomsday has come. I've ne never met a uh, girl called Doomsday, but uh, whatever. It's not over there. Let's have a look. Great. Search the door. <laughs> this must be the inn. You mean the you mean the building that says inn? Charlie, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Poor as a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is called, your serving woman may sit while we talk. I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McWraith. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume. Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train band. This here is thick skinned Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? We're sorry for your loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us. Sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You lot do what you want. I intend living. The esteemed select woman can be <coughs> brusque. Forgive her. And rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners. Or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing. We are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely, with their expertise, we may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you and your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. 
My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, you may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. Well, Governor, shall you leave or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly. But we are worth saving. And now that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to remember how he found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. What do you think happened? Could your physicians not say to uh, What do you think happened? What do you think happened? I could guess to little use. It is evident, however, that Charles's unexpected death is linked to his investigation of the curse. In the minister's absence, I try, in all humility, to protect us all, body and soul, from our ongoing peril. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist. Rather a good one, if I say so myself. We're not demonologists. And neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home and does not much venture out. Her house overlooks the dock. I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. Okay, so we have options. We have the main option, and then we have two other options as well. So why is, why the town, is so town so empty? Of those who did not die, we are the few who stayed. Though our motivations may differ, all who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage in the face of our adversity. Where did they go? Those who left. Where did they go? Boston, outlying settlements. Anywhere, everywhere. Although, as you may have heard, the weather has likely closed the roads. Some believe the pass through the dark woods offers salvation. I do not. I believe we must stand our ground. Will they return? Will they return when the curse is lifted? I fervently hope so. They have homes here. But we sent the children away some time ago, and many could not live with their absence. If we do not resolve this situation quickly, the community of New Eden shall be broken, perhaps forever. Okay, let's go back. Uh, you study demonology? You're a demonologist, you say? I am that, like my father was before me. Faith and science are our twin compasses, you see, to a deeper understanding of the secrets of God's green and pleasant land, and those who threaten it. And what have your compasses told you about the curse? They have told me... They have told me that Reverend Davenport was better placed than I to solve our problem. Which is why you're here. We agreed it. I shall stand for the company, I said as the moral authority, the anchor, and the rock, as Charles and his banishers lift the curse. Okay. Heroic work all round. Indeed it is, madam. Indeed it is. But we do it all the same, because we must. Right. Because we must. Okay, so what about the curse? What can you tell me about the curse? I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increments. 
first, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the end came death. And death remains. Mm. But in all honesty, <laughs> I think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Worse yet, it traps us here. What did trap? Oh. What do you think caused the curse? It's not what I wanted to select. In my humble opinion, I'll point to the obvious. The abyss disgorges its spawn upon New Eden, bent on making God's poor creatures suffer. As to the nature of the demon, that's what we're paying you to find out. Mm. Our late friend Charles faced a Herculean task and acquitted himself with honor. You will have to do far better than that, I'm afraid. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands for Charles. All right, for Charles. Goodbye. Thank you. We have what we need. Then I wish you success. By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. Okay. Nice. Okay. Let's just have a pause. Oh, it's a save option. Nice. Let's just have a little save. A cheeky save. Don't know if it also saves, but that might be pretty cool. Uh, ah. Oh, right. We have a map. Okay. This is bigger than I thought it was going to be. Hmm. Okay, so it wants me to go and meet Esther Davenport, so the uh, reference wife. Inventory, Evolution, Chronicles, okay. Don't know what any of that means at the moment, but let's just uh, have a look at that. Blah, blah, blah. Damn it, Charles. Those accursed sea storms. If only we'd been here earlier. No, no. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. Hmm. These people have no idea what they're up against. <laughs> so, you're done listening to Fairfax's prattling. That man turns a pretty phrase, and does so to the exclusion of all else. Tell me, Captain, what does your rank signify? Militia? I maintain the train band. I also anticipate threat. Natives, brigands, the French and other monsters. The curse, though, that's a whole different kettle of shite. Not even poor Davenport saw that one coming. About the curse. Any thoughts on the origins of the curse? None useful. I'm a military man. I'm no dark artist. I'll take that as a gentle jab. You don't believe in my work. I can tell you're a woman of talent and capability. I respect that. The rest of it, that's your remit, not mine. Me? I'm the old guard. You and your Scots green on you're the oak. You'd best prevail. Mm. Okay, goodbye. We'll be back. I'll be here. Unless I'm not. <laughs> okay. We should go to Esther. I think the governor said that house stood above the docks. Doesn't doesn't look like there's a jump button. Okay. So well we got our four leather this time. Ooh. Uh so it wants me to go down that way towards that. Is that? Can I talk to that person? Is that the uh... thick skin, right? We're sorry to disturb you. It'll take more than you to disturb me. What do you want? Mm. I take it you intend to leave town. Bloody right, I do. New Eden is dying, and anyone who stays is dead or deranged. 
leaving alone? Will you go alone? I'll take my sister and anyone else who wishes. You may come too if you wish. You look like you can handle yourself. There's no hope for New Eden then. Not till the weather changes and it don't look like changing. Yeah, been there. I live in England. What's your role here, if you don't mind me asking? Lately, I do what needs doing when no one else will, weakened as they are by comfort and the curse. In normal times, I hunt. Now, though, it's cold enough to freeze the nankies off an horse, and the game rots as quick as you can get it home. You can't eat a ghost, can't skin it, can't sell it. So what'll be the use? Mm, about the curse? So, the curse. What do you think is going on? I think nothing much about it. I think folk sickened and the crops failed. I think folk went mad, and I know we found the Reverend dead. What of the governor? Anything I should know? That useless clat wagger. With Davenport <laughs> dead, godly folk look to be led. Fairfax Askell couldn't be happier. I pity he'll get them all killed. Mm, Pennington? What of the captain? Now there's a man of worth. Without Saul Pennington, there'd be no town left at all. These last months have been hard on him. I hope his metal holds. Mm. If I had my way, he'd be coming with us. I don't give a rat's knacks for loyalty. But the captain does. Okay, interesting. Goodbye. Well then. Thick skin? Thank you for your help. Aye. Mm. Interesting, okay. So she doesn't like uh, Fairfax, but she does like Pennington. Pennington also doesn't like Fairfax. Let's see what's down here then. I'm really enjoying it so far. I mean, not really got into much combat yet, but uh, we'll get there, we'll get there. Lilac Hyacinth, high right. Okay. Got more people down there, but let's go and talk to the wife. Is that little king? Is it just me, or is that keyhole really Wait. high? <laughs> is that eye height? Is that how high keyholes used to be? Come in. Their keyhole is odd. I've barely slept for fear you would not come. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends, but that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. Mm. I too have questions, I but I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well-read and educated, but at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles' interest in the unknown, but his passion seems less than practical. He is an academic. Still, good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain, too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find Thickskin Newsmith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. 
A fine hunter by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just... sad. Mm -hmm. Charles thought so too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said, that time and God have not yet healed. Interesting. Yeah, anything we should know. Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest. Until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Okay. Thank you, Esther. Okay, goodbye. We'll take a look around, if that's all right. May I be of any help? Mm, you stay put. We'll find the way. New Scotch tune in G major by Henry Purcell. Purcell? Could you find nothing better? These days I lack the heart to play. Oh, I believe is. you brought your piano forte to New England. It cost a fortune. But you cannot part a pianist from their beloved keys. Mm, okay. Wow. Okay, that's a long one. Strap yourselves in. Letter from Eleanor Combs, November 1694. My dearest Charles, how delighted I was to read your words. It is always a pleasure to hear from you and to know that yourself and your beloved Esther are doing well. I have contracted our brothers in London, but unfortunately we could not find anything in our archives that matched the description of the events you have experienced in New Eden. Be that as it may, pestilence and never-ending winters are a phenomenon perhaps too raw for us to pinpoint the exact cause. I can give you no better answer. Be it sorcery, the presence of an eka, or something else entirely, we cannot say. All I do is invite you to continue your research and to take note of all your observations. Our Brotherhood of St. Paul's soul has so little presence in the new world, and any information has been precious indeed. Please stay safe, my friend. Yours truly, Eleanor Combs. I didn't nice. know Elnor and Charles were still in touch. The St. Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager to continue his research here in New Eden. If only we had known what would befall us. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see me. That was nice of him. Okay, what we got here? Less from a neighbor. Esther, some food and ale for you. Sorry for your loss. Your neighbors will hold you in their hearts. Okay, what else we've got here? Inspect. Um, what book is this? Printed book. A study of H. Purcell's Kirkuni? Kirkuni? Shirkuni? Oh, I can't read that. Anyway. Let's move on. Sadness in Interval, or a study of the Aeolian scale. Aeolian? Wow, I'm getting some uh, words I can't pronounce today. Didn't think that would be happening. Alright, let's inspect this stuff. Bundle of letters from Charles to Esther. Yeah. Yeah, more letters from Esther to Charles. Not really st moving the thing along. Bundles of letters from Charles to Esther again. Oh, How pleasant to see these old familiar things from your house in London. That porcelain saw many a dinner turned lecture with Charles. I miss him so. So do we, Esther. Charles is still here and Esther is completely destroyed. She lost him and now he's back, a ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. Quite red. Remember when he started to wear these, to look wiser and older? <laughs> he was hiding his hair loss. 
Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. In people as much as in God. He's a good man. Got, uh, I can here. still picture him crafting your very first Bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right. Okay, inspect. Oh, okay. Oh, it's just a uh, map of the world. Yeah, there we go. What's in here? Chest piece, the precious king from a chest set protected by a glass dome. Hmm. That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Okay. Did he keep it to oh. remind them of his favorite? Oh, or to remind them that he had yet to beat me. Let's inspect these bits. What's this? Cult book from Charles's personal collection, Todd Third Dear Totten, by Balthazar Hans Threnhofer. Charles's notes. None of this side of the water, and few on the other know that I came to New Eden as a minister in order to pursue research into the New World on behalf of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole. And what strange have I found? There are ghosts here, yes, old and innumerable. But they are quiet. I shall never say the word aloud, for I suspect there to be witches, and if I find one, I shall very much like to ask her her story. Okay. A theological book from Charles's personal collection, Four Macarius by Johannes and Nidare. Theological book of Fortilitium. Day by Alfonso de Spina. I'm totally butchering the pronunciation of those words. <laughs> Let's have a look at this. Okay, scribble Bible verses. Job 7, 13, 13, 15. 13, when I say, my bed shall comfort me, my couch shall ease my complaints. 14, then thou scarest me with dreams and terrifiest me thou through visions. 15, so that my soul chooseth strangling and death rather than life. She comes to me in dreams. Charles's notes mention Job chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. I'll look for that reference. Oh, sorry, just wrong. Red, you dropped something. Mm hmm. Charles's notes. What do all these dreams have in common? Are they the promise of a doomsday or a nightmare coming? Visions, foreshadowing, is someone behind this? Who is the real target and what caused this anger to burst forth? I need to know how it gets into our heads. Sleep no longer offers rest and this cannot purge you. So what These I've not notes heard before, are erratic you? ramblings. Purdue. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? Bedroom we go. What was that? Where did that open? Open. Where did nightmares come from? Oh, this is a long one. I remember the teaching of my masters. May God bless their souls. Against the threatening unknown, when the common knowledge is not enough to understand a situation, the sagacious and pious man will wisely turn to the very roots of his art, the words, their meaning, and the power hidden in each of them. Nightmare has nothing to do with a nocturnal female horse. As in the French gauchemar or the German noctemar, mare here comes from the 12th century Middle Dutch meaning ghost or demon. A nightmare is not a puny fiend sneaking into the bedrooms to suffocate the dreamers, but one of the rarest and most powerful spirit defined by its own purpose, to spread its insidious and unforgiving wrath upon any living soul it may reach. According to my research, no occultist ever successfully banished a nightmare. But why? Could a nightmare be more than a ghost? I'm afraid so. I remember a disturbing poem I read in London in my younger years about the terrifying abilities of such an entity, supposedly able to penetrate the dreams of its targets, to influence their thoughts and perception, and make them endure their worst fear. Able even to bend the distance or alter time, creating tantalising and personalised nightmares its victims can't hope to escape from. Such a petrifying concept. I pray God with all my heart and soul that this is not what has arisen upon us. How would we then escape despair, death and doom? I need more information, but where to find them? 
the, the lore and stuff in this game is pretty cool. I'm really liking it. A silver brooch habitually worn by Charles Davenport engraved with a distinctive three-hilted sword. Charles always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Lo, children are inheritors of a lord, and the fruit of the womb at his reward. Wow, I can't speak today. Three drops of lavender oil and cam chamomile infusion before sleep. Wintergreen to rub between palms and behind ears three times a day. If restless persists, use lemon. Balm. Okay. Oh, one more. Remember how they used to argue about books we hadn't read? Like we weren't there. Oh, you actually listened. I'd always let my mind wander. Okay. Uh, inspect. Here we go. Unsent letter to Esther's sister. My dearest, my dearest sister, Charles is dead. I cannot tell right from left. I cannot tell which day it is or how long ago my Charles departed. My world has come undone. Nothing happened as it was supposed to. I could not attend the burial. The, same, the shame of it. How I have failed my dear husband. I just could not find the strength to leave the house and walk to the place where Charles died. There to see him buried. Lord have mercy on us and guide our friends to us before it is too late. The Weedon will not last much longer without my beloved husband to protect it. I do not have any words left in me, but I thought that you, who loved him so, should know of his passing. My love, Esther. Esther mm. couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. Right, so we've got a thing here. Ah, okay. So is it because Esther never got to say suffers? farewell to Charles? That's what I think could have made him manifest. Now that we know why he might be back, we should go investigate the cemetery where he was found. Hmm, okay. Let's make another save. So it's coming up to time now to call it um, a day on this uh, initial play of Are you leaving Bansha's already? Ghosts of New Eden. We need to investigate the cemetery. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to carry on playing this game because it is excellent. So this far. is Charles's. Esther? Love it. You know we can help you sort through things around the house. I don't know that I'm ready for that. But I'll keep it in mind. What will you do for my Charles? If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. You be all right. I doubt it, but I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles with Charles. Well, that means something to them. Ask around, see what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Be careful. Hi, you too. Hmm. Why are we splitting up? Hmm. To find the location on your map. Objective. Open your map. Aha! It's in Jair Power Shop. Objective. So I need to go what? Uh, down there, past the shop, and around. Or oh, I can't go there. Can't go that way. That's behind the house, right? I can't get behind the house. What can I? I just go this way. Oh no, that is that way. Okay, right. Cool. Yes, as I was saying, coming up to the end of the hour gameplay. Um, what are we on? We're roughly on about 50 minutes so far. So, um, just get down the stairs. 
Nice. I'm not gonna. Is that the shop lady? Yeah, that's the shop lady. Why am I stuck? Strange. What have I just taken? Ooh, pieces of eight! Sorry, my, uh, my son likes uh, parrots. Uh, and we've read some pirate books that are. Ooh! Okay, we have a. Uh, a wisp. Ooh. So close to town. Okay. Sanctuary is closed. <coughs> Not anymore. Okay. Where are you leading me? Oh, you can see the roll. More of you? Okay. Well, you tried. Awesome, okay. Oh, nice. Oh, that was nice. Okay, let's try it. Oh, okay, you uh, hit hard. Right. No one is safe here. Most of these people died fighting. Someone didn't want them here. Okay. Take that. Ah, okay. So we're in the investigation mode. Take that. As you can see on the compass, it's got that yellow goldy light uh, stuff across it. It's cool. Right, yeah, so I'm gonna. So, insight. As a banisher, you can feel places or objects that have been marked by ghosts. When in close proximity to these elements, your bane rings will be triggered. And light up with orange aura. Walk around to find the source. Okay. I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. Many dead in more recent years. Okay. Well, my ring stopped glowing, so let's go back. Is it going to start going orange now? Okay. Right. So, what up there or up here? Still glowing, cool. No, stop glowing now. Okay, so this is where, just where I was, just the other end. Right, okay. So, oh, I can't climb up there, okay. Let's go back. I want to find out what this, uh, find the nearby spectrum mark. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure what to do with the spectrum mark. I just I assume I just walk around. Uh, oh, is it this? I assume. Yeah, there we go. A memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal it. Perform ritual. Okay. You must gather necessary resources. Okay, pyrite, seashell candles. Mm. Seashell candle and pyrite will do the trick for the ritual. Well, I assume this is pyrite. I need a little more. Yeah, there we go, pyrite. Okay. Now some more. They're literally just sucking my health. Oh, you cheeky bastards. Let's grab some of that. Let's grab all the pyrite we can from up here. Let's grab that. Perform. Find seashell candles to perform the ritual. Okay. 
down. Okay. Where am I now? Aha! Right, so you can climb up there. Is that more pyrite? What was that flashing thing? You never know when you're going to need the pyrite. Grab it when you can. I right, can't jump up there. Okay, so you go down. Alright, okay. So, there's a candle down here somewhere. Okay, so I was going a good way before. Okay. Down here. Ooh. Oh, I can't walk on there. Okay. The candle's not there. Okay. Banish! Enough. Take leather, okay. Okay. Perform the ritual. Somehow I have the candle already. So let's uh, perform the ritual then, I suppose. Resume. Perform ritual. Next. Perform a hearkening. Close. Okay. What? Reveal an echo. Force of ghost respect to appear. Force of scourge. Okay. Whatever. In each tutorial. stain hides a story. In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place! You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself! Well, since you ask so politely... Hmm. Okay. Who is that? Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared! Hmm. Be gone! You have no shell! No ties! No purpose! No. But neither do you. Wow, she just killed him? Oh, wow, she just... Alright then. Damn it. That... thing he faced. What was it? Mm, okay, so I have another hint. Oh, right, it's hard getting out. Okay. Inspect. Okay, Charles's Bible. Found half buried in the Mother's Cemetery. It's open at Job 1315. This tie is doused with the essence of Charles's ghost after a closure performed by Antia. The bond between the ghost and the world will be severed for good. Right. Okay. The tie that binds his ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. If I can find his grave. Alright then. So I think we're going to call it here. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, come back next time for uh, the ritual.